So, uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to read another poem and introduce our next poet. Uh, we live in a, a, a country of lifting yourself up by your britches, um, buckle your, uh, your belt, um, and uh, you can all do it by yourself. Uh, this is an ode to this nation of ours called the City of Yes. The City of Yes. Everything is perfect. My life is perfect. Wife is perfect. Daughter is perfect. Water is perfect. Lawn is perfect. Dawn is perfect. And night and moon. And soon my son will be perfect. I work hard, pull my weight, never late. I am a man. If you say can't, I say can. Nothing deters, nothing mars. If you say written in the stars, I say change the stars. All is in your power, the tint of neighbors, the tint of flowers. Buckle down, smile. A smile is a frown turned upside down. My lawn is perfect and dawn and night and moon and soon the sun will be perfect. You might live in the city of dark, the city of doubt, the city of less. I live in the city of yes. <laughs> now, our next poet, and I have to call her a poet, Minnie OPP. Minnie performs other people's poetry she does not memorize and recite a poem, but inhabits the poem and transfigures it. She has appeared at poetry and music festivals in Europe and is known in Madrid and Rome. She's fluent in Spanish and I think Italian. But many lives here in New York, and she's, I'm honored that she's joined our Anti-Tea Coffeehouse Poetry Collective. This is where she resides, and I'd like to introduce to you Minnie O.P.P. Other people's poems. First, Pablo Neruda. He was born in Chile in 1904 and died in 1973. He was in exile because of political reasons <laughs> from his country, Chile. The second poet is Edna St. Vincent Millay. She was born in 1892 and died in 1950. She was born in Maine, United States. And she was the lyric voice in the jazz age. Yeah, 1921, when women won finally the vote. And when the first woman won a Pulitzer Prize for poetry. First, Pablo Neruda, The Well, I Will read it in English and then I will recite it in Spanish and I'll proceed to Edna and Vincent Millay, a sonnet. The Well by Pablo Neruda. At times you sink, you fall into your hole of silence into your abyss of proud anger and you scarcely return still bearing remnants of what you found in the theft of your existence my love what do you find in your closed well seaweed swan Rocks, what do you see with blind eyes? Bitter and wounded, darling, you will not find in the well into which you fall 
what I keep for you on the heights. A bouquet of dewy jasmines. A kiss deeper than your abyss. Do not fear me. Do not fall into your rancor again. Shake off my word that came to wound you and let it fly through the open window. It will return to wound me without your guiding it, since it was laden with harsh instant, and that instant will be disarm in my heart. Smile at me, radiant, if my mouth wounds you. I am not a gentle shepherd like the ones in fairy tales, but a good woodsman who shares with you earth, wind, and mountain thorns. Love me, you. Smile at me. Help me to be good. Do not wound yourself in me for it will be useless. Do not wound me, because you wound yourself. El pozo. A veces te hundes. Caes en tu agujero de silencio. En tu abismo de cólera orgullosa. Apenas puedes volver, aún con girones de lo que hallaste en la profundidad de tu existencia. Amor mío, ¿qué encuentras en tu pozo cerrado? Algas. Ciénagas, rocas, que ves con ojos ciegos, rencorosa y herida. Mi vida no hallarás en el pozo en que caes lo que yo guardo para ti en la altura. Un ramo de jazmines con rocío. Un peso más profundo que tu abismo. No me temas. No caigas en tu rencor de nuevo. Sacude la palabra mía que vino a herirte y deja la que huele por la ventana abierta. Ella volverá a mí sin que tú la dirijas, puesto que fue cargada con un instante duro. Y ese instante será desarmado en mi pecho. Sonríeme, radiosa, si mi boca te hiere. No soy un pastor dulce como los cuentos de hadas, sino un buen leñador que comparte contigo tierra, viento y espíritu espinas de los montes. Ámame. Tú, sonríeme. Ayúdame a ser bueno. No te hieras en mí, que será inútil. No me hieras a mí porque te hieres.
if I should learn in some quiet, casual way that you were gone, not to return again. Read from the back page of a paper. Say, held by a neighbor in a subway train. That at the corner of this avenue and such a street. So are the papers fill a hurrying man who happened to be you at noon today had happened to be killed. I should not cry aloud. I could not cry aloud or wring my hands in such a place. I should but watch the station lights rush by with more careful interest on my face. Or raise my eyes and read with greater care where to store first and how to treat 